crunch, in, crunch. You need to slow this down. You're just getting started and working out. You slow this down a little bit. You're moving a little quickly. You want to get that cardio. Standing legs in some work, right? Last one here. Man, good. This leg gets to move, thank goodness. Whew, deep breath. Ah, here we go to the other side. By letting this heart rate come down and then back up, we're getting that high intensity interval training. Bonus. Ready? Deep breath. Three, two, cross crunch. Here we go. Crunch it. Crunch it. So we are targeting the tummy, right? That is the most common area for women to want to target. And we are toning those muscles in our entire core, specifically the tummy area and the waistline, making them tone and strong. But we also need to burn fat. And I want you to understand that this work Tones that tummy area very nicely. Abs are made in the kitchen. Right? So, to burn fat, to burn fat head to toe, you cannot burn fat in one specific area by exercising that area. You can certainly tone it up and make it look better. My arm's gonna be here. We're gonna over, cross, over, cross. Stay on one side. Ready? Out here. Cross it. Cross it. So, separate the two, all right? Exercising in a certain area does not burn fat in that area. Exercise burns fat, certainly, all over your body. The area of the tummy, especially for women over 40, middle aged and older, tends to be where we hold our most stubborn fat and a lot of inflammation. So, you can take care of that inflammation pretty quickly. The way to do it is to follow two rules. Eat real food, rest one on the other side. Eat real food, cut the sugar. All right? When I say cut the sugar, I mean cut the processed foods as well, like white bread or wheat bread. It's brown but very soft. That's just white bread dyed to be brown. All right? Buy the chewy bread that has seeds. And a texture to it. That bread is nutritious, full of fiber, it's not going to spike your insulin. And what happens when you turn, change your diet to eat real foods, real vegetables, fruits, lean meats, real grains, the inflammation goes down. Because sugar and processed foods requires a lot of water in your body to digest them, get them through your body, they're sticky, they stick along the walls of your intestines, think about that, yuck, right? So you need that water going to flush it out. Deep breath. Keep talking about that in just a minute. We're gonna go one, two, three. On the third one, we do a knee. One, two, three. One, two, three. Taking those two moves and putting them together. Count it out with me. Back. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what happens in a diet that consistently has processed foods, low-fat foods, low-sugar foods, you know, that have all kinds of chemicals, so they still taste good, those foods really gum up your system, your body retains a ton of water, and because it knows more of that kind of food is coming day after day, Never lets go of that water. It's going to store it in your tissues, in your fat areas. And what happens is you get that dopamine look away effect. You know that feeling. It's when you feel all swollen. That's that water being held. Okay, I'm going to grab one dumbbell. I'm talking and trying to uh, go to on diet as well. Over with the lat rates, okay? I'm making this an oblique lane. Deep breath. Here we go. And up. 
So your body stores that extra hydration to digest all that processed food. Its nose is coming in in your body tissues, causing inflammation. Where do women hold? We're circling back around. Where do women hold the inflammation? In their tummy. So cut the sugar, eat real food, and guess what? You're going to start to see the work. All of this strength work, all of this toning work is going to become apparent as you bring down inflammation. Let's go to the other side. Bring down inflammation, but at the same time, by eating real food, you're giving your body good nutrition. You have lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of vegetables, a few fruits each day in your diet. Good, wholesome brains. When your body has nutrition, it's going to function at a much higher level. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have better clarity. You're going to potentially have better sleep. Even though we suffer with that, a lot of us, right, at this age, there's so many benefits to getting the body working at its optimum level. You just feel and look so much better. It's worth it. You are worth it. So keep all of that in mind. As we work this target area, and rest. All right. We have alternating over. So I'm going to go grab two weights. I'll go heavy here because I'm not lifting this weight. I'm not using my shoulders to lift this at all. I'm just going to lean, come up, other side, and up. I'll lean to your right first, okay? Deep breath. Here we go. I am doing a number of targeted problem area videos. You'll see them popping up on the channel. And going through a little bit of a transition growth with the channel. I want to bring you more content, not just exercise. I want to bring you content like I'm trying to squeeze into between each, each round here. On proper diet, we'll go into the kitchen, we'll do some food prep. Those are the things I have dreams of to do and making it happen. So keep your eyes peeled for more content. Exercise is one piece of overall health, right? How can we sleep better? How can we fuel our bodies better? I'm going heavy here. More sledgehammer. Up and around, twist my hips and down, and then back up the way you came. All right, so up over your right shoulder, sledgehammer. Boom. Up over your left shoulder, really rotate those hips and down. Up and around, down. The abs, and said, hold your tummy tight in about three minutes, right? Hold it tight. And rest it good. All right, we are going to the mat for our second circuit. I'm going to start on my knees, and I'm going to grab. One medium weight. That's all we'll use in this entire circuit. One medium weight. Taking that sledgehammer, changing it up a little bit. Knee low. So it's up here, rotating around, back in front of the chest. Up and around. Now we're taking the lower body out of this. We want to drive this into that upper ab area a little bit. All right? Hold it in. It's going to work them all because, here we go, right shoulder. Contrary to what we think, our ab muscle running up and down the middle of our body, the middle of the front, is one muscle. And when we get that six pack look, it's just the way the muscle responds. We try to get that six pack look. It's very hard for women. You really have to be in such a low body fat, it's almost not healthy. But it's one muscle. So when you are rotating here and making that upper muscle work, the lower muscle has to respond. You feel it, right? You feel that going right there. And rest. Good. One more on your knees. Use a pillow if you need to here. Now hold your hands on your hips. And 
Now rock back, hold the abs tight, hold them tight, come back up. Put my hands right there, I can feel them contract as I go back. And up, feel that, right there. Put your fingers there, feel what happens as you lean back. Now if you advanced, you can come back super far, feel that. If you're just starting out, a little lean. And up, you're still, I mean, right here, I feel it pulling and contracting. It has to. It's keeping me from falling backwards. Breathe. This isometric work. Rocking back and forth using gravity to make the muscles respond. But we're not really moving through crunches and things like that. When we're holding, when we're holding that area tight, there's a tendency to Hold our breath. So keep an eye on that. And breathe. Alright, let's take it down to the mat. On one side, bicycle crunch. So one hand behind the head. Hands out. We're gonna put one knee out. It's gonna come up, crunch across. Think about shoulder to knee. And out. Shoulder to knee. Modification. Protect the neck. Knee in. Keep the head down. Knee in. Still getting some ab work here. You can bring it across. Support that neck. Think about your hand being a basket. Right? Let the neck relax. Keep that elbow back. I just did it. I did that. Right? Don't do that. You want to do that. But I want you to think shoulder to knee. You're going to get much deeper in this inner oblique. Because you have the outer obliques that worked. Now we're going inner. Good. And right to your other side. I put my other hand out just kind of for balance. Get your breath. Leg is out. Punch it in. Shoulder the knee, right? There it comes. Kick it out. Hold it tight. Kick it out. You know what? You should be getting a real burn in the ab area. I sure hope so. That's the goal for sure. Just glance at the clock for 110 seconds. Yay. Man, take a breather. All right, we're going to a bicycle crunch, both sides, hands behind your head, knees up. We're going to go one. Two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. And do this one, two, three, and hold. Keep your head down if you need to. This is tough. Cover that it looks. Ready? One, two, hold it. One, two, hold. You need to take a break. Take a break. One, two. When do you know you need a break? If that lower back starts to lift off your mat, you can lift your legs higher here. Help you take that back, or do you take a break? Hold it. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Burn, burn, burn and hold, right? Burn, burn, burn and hold. Oh my goodness, one, good, yeah. Yikes, that was a lot. All right, I think we have straight legs to the ceiling. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's my little clipboard that it's out of your sight, but it's right in front of me. I'm going to put my hands under my butt cheeks. I'm making a little shelf to protect my lower back because we've been working hard. We're going to just lift the hips up and down. As they lift, pull that lower hand tight. Pull it in. This is a short range of motion, small range, big results. Up and lift. Lift. The key really is. Suck it in as those feet go up. And I sure hope you feel that entire region really firing up here. On fire. Yep. Now my knees are not completely straight. I'm trying to keep going as straight as I can. You don't have to walk your knees. In fact, I don't want you to walk your knees. And rest. Alright, I'm going to take a glimpse here. 
See, we'll talk, talk, keep doing these. All right, take a deep breath. Stay down here with me. Again, make that shelf. Knees are up, and I crunch them in, out at an angle, together, feet stay together, crunch in, other angle. Now my body is tired, I'm going to crunch in. I'm going fairly high here. Crunch in, even more advanced. You can lower this way down here, go for it. You're just starting out, feet stay very high. So you even know I had some back surgery. Hard to believe it was 10 months ago. But they did say 12 months full recovery. And even then, I gotta be real careful. Confusion in my lower back. So I have to protect it. So I'm gonna go high here. I'm still gonna get targeted work on my abs. Especially my lower abs with this move. But I need to keep that back safe. I want to come back time and time again. Alright, let's go one weight. I'm gonna have to keep looking. I'm gonna put a clipboard above me here. Hand behind your head. We're going to push this weight up in a crunch. And it's got to bring that crunch down one side of the body. Ready? And if, if this is too much, if it hurts the neck, you're going to just push up, contract the abs. Push up, contract. Lift that head, keep those eyes on the ceiling, the chin off the chest. Now, I say, think about having grapefruit on your chin. You never want to round your neck. Chin down, keep the eyes on the ceiling. It's actually going to make you go deeper in your abs as well. So, definitely works. A little bonus here. We can do that arm work, right? Got a flabby arm, attack flabby arm workout on the channel coming soon. So, if you look for that one. Shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Get rid of those little flabby arms. And we'll talk again in that video about burning fat all over, right? Talk about flabby arm workout. It's going to tighten those muscles. It's going to make the arm look better. To make those muscles show, you got to burn down the inflammation and burn the fat all over. Great way to burn fat, ladies, is to walk. Walking gives you a low cardio heart rate, and that's where you burn the most fat. Percentage-wise, so you burn 80% of your calories in fat versus going out and running and burning maybe 60% from fat. So you'll burn more calories faster by running, right? But you even it out, you kind of burn the same amount of fat. So think about that. Bring one knee up. Bug. Now, if you're just starting out, it's just legs out, in, out, in. More advanced, the weight's going to go overhead. All right? There, ready? Here we go. So, overhead and up, other side. So, walking is something you can do with no equipment other than your two feet, right? Good shoes. And if you get out and walk even 15, 20 minutes a day, think about that. Let's say you walk 15 minutes a day. For four days. That's an hour of walking, an hour of fat burning. You're doing this strength work, you're toning these muscles, you're making them look awesome. Get out and burn some fat too. Tone muscles, bonus, they burn more fat than fat does. So both strength work and cardio work is going to put you in a position. Let's bring it on over. We're going to plank. We're going to pull this weight through. So, up, feet are wide. You reach under, pull it over, pull it down. Reach under, pull it over. Or you can do this from your knees. You're just starting out. Here's where you want to be. You can still feel that ab engage as you reach under and pull across. Bring across. So, what's the formula? Eat your food. Avoid sugars. Now we get some low intensity cardio like walking. Do your strength training. Sounds like a lot, but I'm telling you, you can fit that in. 15 minutes a day. Even if you have a really crazy schedule, it's normal. Look on the channel for some 15 minute workouts. They're there. You can do longer, great. Another 20 minutes. And then we have our full 30 minute workouts. Feel this? That is something. All right. 
two options for you. We're going to take this weight. Yeah, you're just starting out. Now push it up, contract the abs, keep the head down if you need to, or up a little higher. More advanced, come all the way up with me. Roll it down, hold them tight. So I'll go over all three. Push it up, hold them tight. Come on up, head up. We'll bring it all the way up, you can kind of scoop motion away from your body and then scoop it back in. Scoop it up, back in. Boy, are they burning? Please tell me they're burning, please. <laughs> Is mine are burning? I haven't done a 30 minute ab workout in a while. It's reminding me maybe I should do it again. <laughs> and if you're watching the shorter version, because I'm going to split these two circuits up, and you just did a 15 minute ab workout, good for you. As I was just saying, every little bit adds up. Okay. So bring it on down. Move my weights so I don't kick them. Arms over your head. Relax your abs. Finally, you get to relax. I'm not saying tighten your abs and say just let them go through there. Deep breath. Now, I want you to take one foot, cross it over the other ankle, and you've got to lean in the direction of the foot that's across. So you lean over, stretching on the outside of the body. Deep, deep breaths here. How do you feel? You made it. You're here. You did it. Come on the other side. Cross the legs. Cross them again. On the other side. Be in that direction. And then we come back to center. Uncross the legs. Stretch your arms over your head. Nice stretch here. Deep breath. Bringing your knees into your chest. This is a good one when you do an ab workout. You're going to rock back and forth on the lower back. You're massaging out that lower back. Putting the pressure on that lower back muscle. If you find anything that, I think that people say like bubble wrap, find an area that's really tight. You're going to just stay in that area. Add pressure. That pressure is going to release lactic acid that's in there potentially making it tight. A little snap, crackle, pop. Should feel good. Pressure. Come over here. I got one. There we go. Go the way one leg down. On a knee, we're going to bring it across. Stretching across the body. Who gets a bonus stretch? Reach away with your arms. Deepen the stretch. And relax the abs. Take it with your different ranges of motion here. That leg in and down, bring another knee up and across. Enjoy. And that stretch right here. Good job. Now rolling it on over. Coming up to a hands and knees position. Cat cow, yoga, yoga moves. Round your back. Pull that belly button towards your chin. Release this opposite direction, arching the back. Pull the head out of the neck, neck out of the shoulders. Deep breath. Exhale, round it. Deep breath. Exhale, arch. And slide the back and bring one knee forward, one knee back. A lot going on in the hair right now. You gotta twist it over this knee. We don't spend a lot of time worrying about that sort of thing. It's time to reach up. I can remember the day. 80s, 90s. No makeup, right? The headbands or wristbands, the leggings. Really worry about how we look. Worry about how your body performs. That's what we're here for, right? Other side. I will tell you a secret. When I first started working out every day, I was 38. So a couple decades ago, my son's a baby, he's graduating from college. Um, I was in my pajamas because it was five o'clock in the morning. I didn't even have coffee. I just 
tried to fit that workout in before someone started crying. I had three kids in the house at the time. Before someone was awake and needed something. I didn't even get dressed. So if that's you right now and you're here with me, good. So I still want to be here. You can rest assured that I've been there. Other side. Let's take the ear to a shoulder, stretching the neck, which gets a lot of work when we work those abs. Other side. I hope you like the workout. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We got good stuff coming. Give it a thumbs up if you want to do this workout again. I know you do because we all want to work our abs, right? Drop the head. And you bring it up. And if it was hard, know that each time it's going to get a little easier. All right? It was all hard for us in the beginning when we started out as well. So keep working hard. And I will see you on the channel next time. Have a great day.